Lovely machines out there. Stegsy, the starter, is getting these guys organised out here once again. Let's keep an eye on them. Rightio, let's have a look. The dog leg is about to get straightened out. The four starters are now also turning correctly. They're all pretty well in line out here at the same time out here. Best, let's keep an eye on them as Stegsy, the starter boat, starts to accelerate. Bringing them in, ready for a flag drop shortly. Let's keep an eye on them. It's going to be a bit of a drag race down the back main straight as they get the, uh, the uh, flag. Is happening right now. Take it away. We got some outboard versus inboard versus displacement versus hydroplane action down the first chute, and it's young Dean Ball getting the job done very nice. Zach Sadley on the inside there on pole one. He'll run that tunnel boat through hard and fast, and he should exit in P1. Michael, absolutely been the tunnel boat. They're pretty good around the corners, but Borg he goes uh, out there. He's pretty wide as he accelerates out here. Good to see it's a good acceleration coming out for these guys. I tell you what, mate, the hombre, Mickey McArdle. I hope he doesn't break out of that speed bracket. He had plenty of pace coming out of turn number one. Spot on. You're exactly right with that. You can't go over the speed limit of what they are dedicated to. But uh, hombre goes out wide at the moment, keeping an eye on him. Not a bad drive coming out from Mick McArdle out there down the back main straight. Some pretty good acceleration coming out from him, Bish. Yeah, Mickey McArdle doing a beautiful job, but uh, young Zach Sadley doing a uh, nice job in the uh, Titan machine. He also runs in the 25 horsepower category, mate, as well. We'll see him out a little bit later on in the little boat. So it's great driving practice for him, but he's running up in third spot at the moment, doing very, very nicely. Then it's back to Borg and Donahue running out the field. Absolutely, and that Borg out there giving it everything he can at the same time. But uh, Mick McArdle out there at the moment is a very cool, calm, collective guy, that uh, driver out there with McArdle. Been around for a long time and uh, wins a lot of the events that he goes to and is leading at the moment down the back main straight once again, Bish. Mate, it's one of the older boats in the field, but it's beautifully turned out. It's a really nice uh, livery on it, really nice paint job. And uh, in the engine bay, it looks absolutely beautiful. So doing a great job and he'll be pretty happy that he's holding off an outboard at the moment. Platz oh, is happy. Definitely, definitely he'd be happy with that. Absolutely, as uh, Borgie also out there under power at the moment. But uh, the guys pretty well spread out evenly around the race course at the moment as we speak. So good racing going on in our 85. They have spread out a fair bit though, haven't they, mate? So yellow flag comes out. Mickey McArdle in the hombre doing it very, very nicely indeed. Sadly, just uh, standing that little Titan tunnel boat up there. Two-litre Mercury power on the back of that particular boat, the uh, two-litre V6 carburetted engine. Then it's uh, Dean, Bo uh, sorry, um, yeah, Dean Borg, I should say, uh, running up into the top turn and then rounding out the field still is... Uh, Andrew Donahue running a very wide line too, I reckon, Michael. You yeah, know, absolutely very, very wide out there, but uh, that boat can handle it. Very good control out there. Love the way they turn those machines there, Bish. But uh, we go back to our Mick McArdle leading at the Bridgeland end at the moment now, coming back down the front main straight as we speak at the same time. Not a bad uh, effort coming out as he takes the chicken flag for a win. Mickey McArdle in the hombre takes the win quite comfortably. Back to Zach Sadley, does a nice job into second place. Runs the hard line on the pin there in the Titan machine. Then it's going to be Dean Borg coming down through turn number one for the final time in the performance. This boat is actually built, the hull's built by the Borg family, mate. They do a great job. Absolutely. Normally his daughter was a competitor in this boat in uh, previous years, but uh, she's got something else on this weekend. So uh, Dean said, no, nah, I'll jump in and take it out for the weekend, and why not? Ah, uh, absolutely. Does a good job. Comes through, picks up third place. And Andy Donahue, he's going to have to change it up, I think. He's been running that wide line with the hydroplanes. You don't want them to bog down. You don't want to turn them too hard. You want to try and maintain the momentum as they go through and choke up that air underneath the air trap. But uh, I don't know. He's going to have to come up with something different there because uh, he got uh, pretty convincingly beaten in that one. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. Spot on. And uh, great words out there once again, as you are saying out there, Bishop.